Hello there everyone and welcome to another video with me, KJG. Today what we're doing is uh, another video of the Science Advent Calendar guys. Now, you will probably have noticed that the Advent Calendar video did not come out yesterday. So, those of you who were following my Instagram will know is that because being the famous person that I am, I was in a show last night, so I was extremely tired and simply got home very late and had to do lots of other work, so simply did not get a chance. So, that's what we're doing in this video, day 15, which has the title of Hydraulics and Pneumatics. You'll also get another video, matters of hours apart, uh, if not less than that, uh, on day 16, which is where we should be. So... Without further ado, let's crack straight on with the video. So, hydraulics and pneumatics. Uh, additionally required is water, which I uh, dyed blue. The syringe and tube from day four. So, creating a vacuum. Take the syringe out of today's box. Today's box, forgot that existed. So, day 15, day 15, 15, 15, 15. Let me know if you see it before me. 15, 15, the 15. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, However, if you will only cover the nozzle with your finger then let's put that to the middle of the barrel. Made no sense whatsoever, but there we go. Okay, so experiment one is doing this, I believe. When you close the nozzle, you won't be able to pull back the plunger. Oh, right, okay. So, yeah, you can see it a bit more clear. So, I'll cover it with that finger. <laughs> then I won't be able to pull it back very far, apparently. Okay, but yeah, without uh, quite a large amount of force, if I was just to do that and just to slowly pull, it, it doesn't go very far. But you know, when you super strong, you know, joking, but there you go. Uh, so yeah, when you cover it up, you can't pull it very far. And then when you Open it, you can. Okay, that's experiment number one. Hydraulic power transmission. For this experiment, you also need the syringe and hose from day four and some water. Okay. Take one syringe and push the plunger all the way in. Now, if I can remember how to do this, it'd probably be a bit more helpful. Is it like that? That, cool. Pull out the plunger for the second syringe that is open at the rear and attach both syringes to the hose. Okay. Now fully open the syringe and fill it with water. Hold it upright and pull back the plunger of the first syringe a little. Due to the developing vacuum, the first syringe sucks in some of the water that the other one. If syringe shuts now, you can reinsert the plunger in the second syringe. Oh, I get it. So basically, it wants to make my life awfully difficult. Awfully difficult. So, what I'm going to need is this. No? It's not going to work, is it, really? Really? No, it's not. Okay. It doesn't even stand up properly. Great. Perfect, it is. Pipette it is, ladies and gentlemen. So, what we have to do is we have to hold it like so, and then we're going to pop some of our blue dyed water in here, like so. It's actually going quite quicker than I expected. There we go, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So, now my spade to is in the wash for anyone who has been paying attention. You'll notice it's not with us today. 
if you're in the wash. Cool. So, there's that. Now, I'm going to come quite close to the camera so that you can see that when I pull back on this one, some of the water will uh, come in. Okay, like so. Likewise, as I push down, it will fill back up. Now, what it wants me to do, reinsert the plunger. You can observe that the plunger in the first syringe moves outward. You can push in one of the plungers and by doing so, push out the other one. So, that one's pushed in. And then what we're going to see, guys, is that one rise. Okay. And likewise. That's pretty cool. Okay. So why does this happen? Water cannot be compressed easily. It thus acts as a power transmission medium and pushes out the second plunger with the same amount of force that you use to push the first plunger. Okay, that's all it says. Hydraulic power transmission the other way around. Would this also be possible to pull the plunger of the second syringe inward by pulling of the first one outward? Right, that's so confusing. What? Right, I think. Right, so what does it want me to do? Pull the plunger of the second syringe inward by pulling the plunger of the first one outward. Pulling the plunger of the first one outward. What do you mean like that? We just did that, didn't we now? I'm so confused. What if we push both? Cool. I'm so confused. Would it be able to pull the plunger as the second syringe inward? As in inward? Oh! Is it possible? Right, I don't get it. I'm going to read it to you. Would it be possible to pull the plunger of the second syringe inward by pulling the plunger of the first one outward? Try it yourself. While it is relatively easy to pull the plunger of one syringe outward, the plunger of the other one won't move inward. Oh, like that? So what we're going to do is we're just going to... And then we're going to see if this one moves down, if we take that one out. I assume that's what it means, I'm not totally sure. So, why does this happen? Glad you asked, because it's right here. You've noticed that there is not only water in syringes, but also a little air. While it is nearly impossible to compress water, you can easily compress air. Just think of blowing up a balloon. While you pull the plunger, the air pressure inside goes back to normal or even slightly lower value. In both cases, the area without water within the syringe becomes visibly larger. And here is the scientific explanation for all of it. So, he says, so, 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 so. He says, as he empties out his equipment. Lovely. Right. Hydraulics and pneumatics are regulate uh, are relate, uh, a related concept. Both refer to the contained systems that move certain elements, for example, cylinders. The two terms contain the Greek word for water or wind, respectively. Um, this already explains the essential difference. In a hydraulic system, a liquid is used for power transmission, while in a pneumatic system employs pressurised air. Liquids cannot be compressed. Therefore, hydraulic liquids are able to transfer forces without delay and with high precision. This makes it possible to implement high precision hydraulic controls. Air or gases in general are easily compressible and hence transfer force within a certain delay. Afterwards, they expand again, which makes it impossible to use them for precision con 
control systems. Compared to hydraulic liquids, air only allows transmission of small forces. Hydraulic systems make it possible to move heavy objects with little effort. For example, lifting a car heavier than a, a thousand kilograms is easy with a hydraulic car jack. Uh, yep, and that is hydraulics and pneumatics. Stay tuned to the next video, the Ooblek, in a couple of hours or an hour or less than an hour. I'll decide. Uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, share it with a friend, comment down below your views, suggestions, blah, 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 subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video in a moment.